We're in Drumshambo again this week, as you might have gathered from the warm applause, and I know that they'll have the same warm welcome on this cold, snowy night for Norman Medcalf. Good. Well, this week we begin with a gentleman's ticket. It's a blue ticket, number 83. Number 83, where are you? Yes, we have it. Right. <laughs> You're very welcome, number 83. I'll take your ticket. I'll shake your hand, too. And in you go there. What's your name? Paddy Burns. Hello, Paddy. How are you? Not Paddy, would you rest yourself after the journey there while I have a quick word with the people looking in <laughs> about this week's super prize? And it really is a super prize. It's it, from Metal Spinners of Newtown, Mount Kennedy, and it's luxury cookware. And when I say luxury, I'm not kidding, because it's 22 carat gold plated. It has sterling silver lining, each one of those pots, and the handles are made of solid mahogany. Now, if you went in to buy that lot in a shop, they would cost you 785 pounds. But tonight, we're giving them away to the first competitor to stop on this number. Now, the people at home, Paddy, can see that number. We can't, because we'd only be cheating, you know. Mm. Would you be interested in gold-plated pots? Oh, I'm very interested. Would you? I suppose you'd sell <laughs> them if you got them, would you? <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what's your job, Paddy? Um, Bricklin. Pardon? Bricklin. Oh, I see, right. So you're a fella, well used to being out here on your own, are you? Right. Sure. Here we go with your first question. What colour are the pillar boxes in Northern Ireland? Uh, red. That's right. Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? 20, uh, 10 p's coming up. What is the maximum speed limit for cars in Ireland? 60. 60 is right. Good man. Uh, are you a drinking man at all, Paddy? Sometimes. You might be. Yeah. <laughs> when I have the price of it. Yes, I see. Well, maybe after this show you will. You maybe even have the price to stand. That'd be a nice change, wouldn't it? Right. Sure well, here we go. If, if beer is made in a brewery, Paddy, what is the name of the place where whiskey is made? Distillery. A distillery is right. <laughs> right. We play for 50s, will we, Paddy? You've yeah. lost no lights of any description. Here's your 50p question. On a 24-hour clock, a 24-hour clock, you know the kind of thing I'm talking about? Yeah. What time is it when it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Uh, stop. Stop the lights. It would be 1,500 hours. You know, it would be 15. Yeah. A tricky one, was it? I, so. I didn't think it was, Paddy. Uh, another 50p question coming up. Uh, are you a sporting man at all? We bit. Any interest in rugby football, Paddy? No. Well, you might know this even if you haven't, because it's, it's more general knowledge. Kicking a rugby ball high in the air got a name from a monster team which used that tactic. Kicking the ball high up in the air with the forwards running up underneath it. I want to know what is that tactic called, that high kick? Got his name from a monster rugby club. Stop. Stop the lights. It's a Garyon. It's called a Garyon. And Norman used to play for Garyon in the old days, and he tells me that there's actually a member of the Garyon football club had twins, and he called one of them Gary and the other one Owen. Would you believe that? That's true. That's true. It's true. I promise you. Okay, we're still on 50p's. I better not dash on into pounds. Another 50p question. 30 lights on the board. No chance to shout. Stop, Paddy, and here we go. Who won last year's All-Ireland football final? Dublin. Dublin. I beg your pardon. Kerry. Kerry. I heard you in a second time. Good man. Well done. <laughs> Mind you, you said Dublin the first time, and before that game, a lot of fellas were saying Dublin, but they were <laughs> wrong. You know, they were wrong. Uh, you own 28 50p's. You're very welcome to take it, or you can move on and play for 28 pounds. You go ahead. You go ahead. Okay, here's your pound question. Uh, Paddy. What are flotsam and jetsam? Flotsam and jetsam. Names given to a certain thing. Good old Norman. Time up. Norman's playing the tide rushes in, is that thing that he was playing there. And flotsam and jetsam are goods lost in a shipwreck. 
the, the flotsam float in and the jetsam is the, I presume, the stuff that goes down with the boat. Yeah. But anyway, uh, 21 pounds still to be won, Paddy, by you. And uh, you're still with me, are you? Yeah. Okay. When a river divides before entering the sea, you know, when it comes up to the mouth of the river, yeah. the river divides before it goes into the sea. What is that area called? They've called the wings of aircraft the same name. The mouth, you see. It's not the mouth, it's a delta. A delta is what, and there is a thing I think called a delta wing aircraft. I'm sure it's called after that because it's roughly that triangular shape. It, for 14 pounds, Paddy Byrne. Paddy Byrne, is that the name? Yeah. yeah. For 14 pounds. Who was Catherine Parr? Catherine Parr. Who was she married to? Well, yeah. Norman was playing I'm Just Wild About Harry, and the guy we had in mind was Henry VIII. Henry VIII. <laughs> Known, I'm sure, to his intimates as Harry. Are you a film goer, Paddy? No. No? And you're not much of a drinking man. And you know nothing about football. Well, you have the price Could I ask you, what do you do? What do you like to do in your spare time, Paddy? I only do a lot of things. Normally, that's not even going to do. Okay, right. A film question coming up. A film question coming up. What you want to do in the kitchen is your own business, Paddy. Don't pay any attention to no one. Who starred in the dollar series of films, that is a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more. What was the name of the very famous star? Don't know. Would like to hazard a guess, very famous star. Lights Gone and Time Up, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood was the star. <laughs> Paddy, we've run out of lights. Sorry about that. Would you draw a yellow ticket for me, please? Yellow? A yellow one. One twenty nine. One twenty nine. Paddy, would you take the ticket with you to the bank bench? One two nine. A lady number one two nine. Where are you, madam? One twenty nine. Yes. You're very welcome, number one two nine. Step right in there. Norman was worried in case you wouldn't come up because he was playing a tune called First She Says She Will and Then She Won't. But you came up anyway. What's your name? Bridge McDermott. Bridge McDermott. Okay, Bridge, are you ready to play? Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, where would you expect to see characters called Punch and Judy? In a Punch and Judy show. There well, I suppose, puppets. where else? Yes, puppets. the puppets. That's the answer. Uh, 10p question coming up. You're good on the puppets. I wonder if you could know this one. Who created Mickey Mouse? Walt Disney. Walt Disney is the right answer. 20p is coming up, Bridge. You're relaxed there, aren't you? Fairly. Oh, you're smiling, sure. You're getting better as we go along. Um, on what sort oh, be careful of this one. On what sort of a plant does macaroni grow? It, it's, a, it's a root plant. I beg your pardon? It's a root plant. No, I told you to be careful of it. No one's playing no, no, a thousand times no, because it doesn't grow. It, yeah. It's made from flour. You, you know, know, of course you know it now, don't you? <laughs> A root plant. Were well, they devils to slip in that tricky question like that? 23 lights on the board, two chances to shout, stop, breach, and another 20p question in my hand. Where is Rockall? It's uh, an island off the northeast coast of Ireland. That'll do fine. It's a rock in the Atlantic. Good job. Well done. You're good at geography, are you? You weren't a school teacher or anything like that, no? Were you? Not geography, though. Not geography. But, you know, you deliver that with great accuracy. Where did you teach? Did you teach locally? Or? I teach in Carrigan Shannon. You teach in Carrigan yeah. Shannon, which is, what, nine miles from here, it's, or yeah, thereabouts. Yeah. It was a long nine miles tonight, I can tell you. There are long miles, snow drifts everywhere. Um, 50 P's we'll play for, yeah. Breach? Okay, here's your 50 P question. What is the name of the old language native to Brittany? The language native to Brittany in France. Celtic. It's a, it is a Breton. Celtic, Breton. It is yeah. a Celtic language. Breton as well. Okay. Well done. Now we're doing well. We're into pounds. We've 23 lights on the board. Uh, Bridge, you've two chances to shout stop. And here's a pound question. If you had a portico, P-O-R-T-I-C-O, 
What would it look like? It's kind of a doorway, is it? Yeah. There's one. There's a feature of it, though, that I. It's round. It's round, oval, round shaped. I think you've got enough of it. What would it be supported by? Um, wrought iron. Um. I suppose there are porticos supported everywhere by wrought iron, aren't there? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it says here it would be supported by columns, but I bet around about County Leitrim, sure, there would be, everybody would have a wrought iron support on your, wouldn't you all have wrought iron support on your portico? Of course, yes, yes. Like the GPO, for instance, in Dublin, you know it would be. But you've got 23 pounds, you've two chances to shout stop, Breach. You're very welcome to take it, or you could go for 115 pounds. I'll have a go. You'll have a go. Yeah. Okay. Have I, I've... You've two chances to shout stop, Breach. So, here we go. Um, I think this is a tough question, Breach. For 115 pounds, I really do. But you just might know it because it's reasonably topical. The Irish Theological Association has elected a woman as secretary for the first time in its history. Breach, what is the name of the woman? Stop the lights. Stop the lights. It's Sister Fiona Fulham from the St. Louis Convent in Monaghan. I knew her in college. Did you know Fiona in, 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 in college? Didn't know and that. you didn't know that she was the first... There you are, there's Fiona now doing well for herself, making history. Still 115 pounds going on this. Still one chance, Breach, to stop the lights. And here's the question. Of what country is Kenneth Kaunda the president? Zambia. Is right. Good girl, you've got it. Well done. Well done. Breed, you've won £115, which isn't bad. Uh, what, what school are you in in Carrick? Maris Convent. I see. And uh, what classes do you teach, or what, what year? Um, between first year and fourth year's day, yes. so it's all of Well, you year. can look them straight in the eye when you go in tomorrow, because you've won £115. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awful if the teacher which failed the exam? That'd yeah. be terrible, really. Well, look, would you draw a blue ticket for me, please? One three five. One thirty five. Breed, you go and sit beside Paddy Byrne, and we look for one three five. Hello. <laughs> I take your ticket. Good man, number one three five. You gave me the ticket with a slightly shaky hand. What's your name? John McGrath. John. Yes. That's what I call you, John, is it? Yes. Okay, John, are you ready to play? Yeah. Okay. You're relaxed and happy. Yes. Yeah, that's a lie anyway, but never mind. <laughs> Here we go. Nice topic of question. What do the letters UFO stand for? Un unidentified objects. Unidentified flying objects is right, John. Well done, well done. <laughs> On to ten piece. Listen carefully, John. What do Limerick, Port Leisha, and Mount Joy all have in common? They're prisons. They all have prisons is right. Well done, well done. It's a great old cheerful. You're not an expert in that area yourself, John. No. no. <laughs> Only like myself, by hearsay, you know about it. Okay, fine. On to 20 Ps. It, what, John, is a barnacle? No. A barnacle. What is it? Where would you be likely to find it? I don't know. Stop the lights. Stop the lights? Well, is it worth stopping them for one light? I think not. Save your stop the lights because it would be a pity to waste it. it. It's a sea creature with a shell and they attach themselves to the bottom of boats. We're still on 20 p's and um, another question coming up for you, John. What are the cedars of Lebanon? Cedars, C E D A R S. What are cedars? Stop the lights. Stop the lights. You don't like that tune, do you? I do. Pardon? Yeah. What's the name? Tiny yellow ribbon. Where? Around the oil oak tree. Now, what are cedars? Seeds. Trees. I beg your pardon? Trees. Trees, you've got it right. Just like the fire. Come on, John. You own 23, 20 piece. Will we play on for 50s, John? Yes. It was tough work getting through the music that time, wasn't it, really? It's more like a music quiz, this, tonight. Okay, 50p's coming up. 
Who star are you fond of films? Uh, yes, uh, this so. is an easy one, I think, John. Listen. Who starred with John Travolta in the film <laughs> Grease? Olivia Newton. Olivia Newton John, yes. Yeah. Johnny, you're going very well. You've 2350 P's, you've one chance to shout stop, you can take it or play for pounds. Or you can have a chat with the committee. <laughs> yes. Okay, going for pounds, John. Right, okay. One chance, now don't forget, you've one chance to shout stop because each of those lights is worth a quid of your money from here on, John. Washington, D.C. is the American capital. What does D.C. stand for? Stop the lights. Stop the lights, we will. District of Columbia is what it says there. Dif District of, you've no chance to shout stop. You better know this for 23 quid, John, here it is. Table Mountain, Table Mountain overlooks which city of South Africa? I don't know. I was going to give you a hint, but I better Cape it to be south. Pardon? I don't know. You don't know. Cape Town. Cape Town was the place that we were looking for. That, that didn't happen. You've got 16 pounds, John. You've no chance to shout stop. It's going to be expensive. If you miss this one, it'll cost you seven quid. You've heard, John, of Greenwich Mean Time. Mm -hmm. Where is Greenwich? Uh, in England. In England? Yes, it's in England. What city did you say? London. London is right. <laughs> John, I have a feeling that when I ask you the next question, Norman is going to play his favourite tune. Would you like to play on for uh, £80, or would you like to take your £16 to the bank bench? Chance it. You'll chance it, will you? You'll go on. Okay, good man. Okay. Good luck. We're looking for £80 this time, John. I thought Norman was going to play goodbye that time, but he's got confidence in you and he didn't play. Listen carefully. If you miss this, it'll cost you 35 quid and there's £80 riding on it, John. The Ionian Sea is part of the Mediterranean. It separates Greece from what country? Turkey. Not from Turkey. Hard luck. From Italy. From Italy. That's where the Ionian Sea is. They're tough. 45 quid riding on this one, John. Listen again carefully. Of what country is Phnom Penh the capital? Seven seconds just gone. Do you want to have a Chance. guess? No. Chance. You're in the right area, but you got the right. John, you realize why they're cheering, do you? Yeah. Why are they cheering? Uh, stopped on a lucky number. You stopped on the lucky number, which means you've won £785 worth of gold-plated <laughs> cookware. And congratulations <laughs> to you, John. Well and so you've got 785 quids. What are you going to do with all that? Oh, bank it. I beg your pardon? Put it in the bank. You'll put it in the bank, will you? So, oh, that's right. I think you're right. With all the rest of your gold. Whatever about that, whatever about that, it, you still can win £10 with your last two fivers uh, up on the board. John, listen to me carefully. Now, tune in. Last year, Swaziland withdrew from FIFA. F-I-F-A. What is controlled by FIFA? I don't know. I'm going to have to tell you, it's the international controlling body for soccer football. For soccer football. Sorry about that, John, but you've won £785, and not bad. For a yellow ticket, yellow ticket.
174. How much? 174. 174. Madam, John, will you take the ticket with you and sit beside me? <laughs> Hello, number 174. Put the ticket in your pocket so that it won't get mixed up. Okay. What's your name? Siobhan Brady. Hello, Siobhan Brady. How are you? You've got a lovely big smile. Siobhan, I have a feeling the clock might be going to beat us, so I'm going to go as quickly as I can because the further up the, that board you get, the better. Okay, here we go. If, what creature was famous in the film Jaws? Jaws, featured a what? Shark. A shark is right, yes. Good. This is a kind of a tonsorial question. What is a crew cut? A crew cut? It's a haircut. It's a haircut, of course it is. On to 20 feet. Right. If a horse is described as a bay, what colour is it? A bay horse. Stop the lights. Stop the lights. He's a kind of a reddish brown kind of fella. Okay? Another 20p question coming up, and here we go. It, what is a sound? Like an ackle sound. What's that? You know, ackle sound. Stop what? the lights. Stop the lights again. It's a strait or a channel of water between the mainland and an island. You know that sort of thing, Siobhan, do you? No. You did. Well, you do now. <laughs> okay. Are you interested in politics? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I have to ask you that anyway, because it came out. Who's the leader of the Labour Party in yeah. Ireland? Fitzgerald. The I Labour. beg your pardon? The Labour Party. Um, Brendan Corrish. No. That was the, the predecessor of the present one, who was Mr. Frank Klusky. Uh, from what animal does veal come? Um, veal calf. A calf is right. We're on to 50p. Good job. Siobhan, keep concentrating. What is a gourmet? A gourmet. What would a gourmet like to do? I beg your pardon? No one has played the old bull and bush, and a gourmet would be keen on drinking and eating. Mainly on eating, I think, really. We're still on 50p's, quickly as we can. Uh, the Ameri Americans call it a faucet, F-A-W-C-E-T-T, -E -T, a faucet. What would we call it here? Stop tapping your fingers on that desk. What would we call it here? Um. Don't be tapping your fingers now. Go, go on with the answer. Tap. A tap. Right, good girl, well done. Wow. Great. <laughs> We're on to pounds, and we're facing a pound question. Can I go? Are you ready? A pardon? <laughs> can I go? Yes. <laughs> you can go away because time is up. Siobhan, you've got nine pounds to take with you. The bell has beaten us. Would you like to go and sit be beside Johnny over there? And we turn our attention to the people on the bank bench. Okay. <laughs> So now, we're going to have another look at Paddy, Breach, John and Siobhan. Uh, Siobhan, have you settled down? Do you see there's a buzzer up on the, the higher shelf there in front of you? I'm going to give you uh, four pieces of information. Uh, we'll stop after each one. If you want to guess the answer, fine. If you're wrong, I'll eliminate you and go on with the other three, okay? Here's your first piece of information coming up. The figures for last year are 19,423 girls and 16,381 boys. I think it's Breach has pressed her buzz buzzer. Is it? Or is it Siobhan? Which of you? No, no you didn't. So it's Breach, yeah? Boys and girls who sat for the leaving cert. Is right. I haven't got to use it anymore. <laughs> Well, Penny, uh, you didn't win any money, but it was very nice to see your smiling face over your beard on the programme. And uh, whatever you're doing in the kitchen, keep it up. It agrees with you. You're looking very well on it. And uh, Breege, you got £115 in the earlier part of the programme, and you've added now £27 to that, and I think that adds up to about £142. Congratulations to you. Johnny, you won £785 worth of luxury cookware. Congratulations to you. It's lovely stuff. Well done. Right. Siobhan, you were beaten by the bell, but you did get nine pounds to take home with you. Thank you all for being such good sports and playing Quicksilver, and thank you at home for looking in. Uh, for this week, from Norman Medcalf.
from me. Till the same time next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.